Good morning listeners, welcome to Top of the Morning by Mint. Your weekday newscast that brings you five major stories from the world of business. It's Thursday, October 31st, 2024. This is Nelson John wishing you a very happy Diwali. As we step into somewhat 2081, speculations is rife about whether the Sensex can breach the 100,000 mark by March 2025. A Mint survey reported by Mayur Balerao reveals a split verdict among analysts about half expected to reach the milestone driven by robust corporate earnings and steady foreign inflows, while the others remain cautious citing global uncertainties. Market volatility is now a new normal, with most experts anticipating a turbulent stretch ahead, marked by a potential correction followed by a gradual recovery towards the year-end. All eyes are on the US Federal Reserve, with many expecting a rate cut in December, which could provide a timely lift to Indian markets. Diwali brings a unique tradition to India's stock market with moderate trading, where the National Stock Exchange and the BSE will light up for a special one-hour session from 6 to 7 p.m. this Friday. This auspicious hour marks the start of the Hindu calendar year, Sambat 2081. Since last Diwali, the Nifty 50 has surged 25%, buoyed by strong GDP growth, robust corporate earnings, and plentiful liquidity. Which sectors have beaten the benchmark? Which stocks have been the winners and laggards? And what can investors expect in the medium term? Abhinava Saha brings a recap of Samvat 2080. Europe's largest paint maker is planning to exit its India business. Anirudh Lashkar reports that Axo Noble is eyeing a 25,000 crore valuation for the sale, with Citigroup managing the transaction. Among the potential bidders are Adani, Aditya Birla, JSW, Asian Paints. While Asian Paints already owns a 4% stake in Axo Noble's Indian arm, any acquisition bid may attract regulatory scrutiny given its dominant position in the market. India is positioning itself as the next hub for artificial intelligence. Major players like NVIDIA and Meta have already set up operations and are optimistic about India's role in shaping the AI landscape. However, the government's push for indigenous developments presents both challenges and opportunities for global firms. Leslie DeMonte writes that initiatives like Pixit Bharat offer tech giants a platform to collaborate with local companies, fostering research and job creation. High-profile visits from tech leaders reflect this growth momentum, while Indian firms are also making strides with localized AI models. In India, where privacy is a coveted luxury, the hotel industry is evolving to cater to the ultra-wealthy. A prime example is Arc by the Leela, a collection of exclusive villas that debuted in Udaipur this month, offering unparalleled seclusion. Despite its premium pricing, demand for these opulent stays remains strong. The luxury travel sector has seen a robust post-pandemic revival, with India spending on luxury travel hitting $10 billion in 2022. High-end properties are driving this growth, with 39% of the country's branded hotel rooms classified as upscale or luxury, reports Baruni Khosla. That's all for today. Thank you for joining in. Please note that there won't be an episode tomorrow. We are eagerly looking forward to our next Top of the Morning episode, which will be packed with fresh business news. Until then, have a great weekend. 